This tutorial will demonstrate how to read Bookshare books using Read Out Loud Bookshare Edition on the Windows operating system. If you have not yet installed Read Out Loud Bookshare Edition to your computer, please refer to the tutorial, How Do I Download Books and Read Out Loud for Windows? First, launch Read Out Loud on your computer, either from the Start menu or the shortcut on your desktop. There are two ways to open books in Read Out Loud Bookshare Edition. You can download books directly from the built-in browser within the application, or open and read a book already stored on your computer. For more information on downloading, please refer to the tutorial, How Do I Download Books and Read Out Loud for Windows? In this example, we will open and read a book that is already stored on the computer. Select the eText button at the top left of the toolbar and find the book you want to read. Read Out Loud will recognize the appropriate file to open. To hear the book, select the Speaker button or select Speak in the Speech menu. Note that you can choose the voice you want to hear and set other speech settings by selecting Voice Settings in the Speech menu. If you've downloaded the high-quality a cappella voices that are free for Bookshare members, you will be able to select either of these from the drop-down menu. They are called Heather 22K and Ryan 22K. As you select each one, you will hear an example of the voice to help you decide which one to use. Please note that these voices can be used only with the Bookshare editions of Read Out Loud and Victor Readersoft. You can download the free a cappella voices from the Reading Tools page of Bookshare website. If you have not installed the Acapella Voices or other commercially available voices, Read Out Loud will use the pre-installed voices on your computer. Most Windows operating systems have Microsoft Anna. You can also adjust the rate, pitch, and volume in the Voice Settings dialog box in the Speech menu. You can change the visual display of your eText by selecting the drop-down menu next to eText Style. Readers can select the display style they prefer. Readers can highlight with the green highlighter to capture key ideas and put them in the outline. The yellow highlighter can be used to capture supporting details. You and your students can add questions, comments, or ideas in the form of written notes. These are like paper note cards in an electronic format. To add a note, select the New Note button on the menu bar. After you have edited the book file by adding highlighting or notes, you will need to save the file. Select the Save button, or in the File menu, select Save and select the folder in which you wish to save the file. When you save your work, the file is saved as a solo student document with a .djs extension. To reopen the file, select Open under the File menu. To learn more about other Bookshare topics, visit the Bookshare website, the Bookshare channel on YouTube, and Bookshare on Facebook.